So let me just say at the outset, that was a tragedy what happened in Florida to Mr. Martin. I think we can all agree. And I think it's despicable that anyone, regardless of their political affiliation, would try to gain some perceived political gain by linking us to it falsely, which is what Ms. Finney did. Ms. Finney said on your show in March that we were part of what she called the typhoid Mary that led to the proliferation of these stand your ground laws in Florida and elsewhere. She, she associated it with the ALEC, so American Legislative Exchange Council. Yes. And she said that we were the reason why this happened. No, and not so, so many words. Sorry. She linked it to us. Let so, me finish, so, please, sir. I was, I was told I was going to be on the show to sure. speak. Uh, but, but, but we have to be accurate. I know. And I'm going to just finish, and then you can tell me where sure. I'm not accurate. Thank you. Okay, so Ms. Finney said we were involved. We weren't involved. Coke is a member of ALEC. ALEC's been around for about 40 years. Yes. ALEC has many other corporate members, including MSNBC's parents, General Electric and Comcast. We weren't involved in any way in the stand your ground laws on any level. I'm assuming Comcast and GE weren't either. I don't know. Yeah. But to say we're involved is false. In fact, to say ALEC was involved is false. The law in Florida pre-existed anything Alec did on the issue. So that categorically false what Ms. Finney said. And there's also a part of her statement, I don't have it with me, where she's trying to make it seem like this was some vast Republican act that led to these laws around the country. The reality is these laws have had broad bipartisan support across the country, Republicans and Democrats, and they've been signed into law, the Stand Your Ground laws, by many prominent Democratic governors, including the current Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security, Ms. Napolitano. Yes. Uh, Joe Manchin, the yeah. governor, when yes. he was what, the governor of West Virginia, signed one into law. Let me, let me just Ms. take Ms. Granholm, you, who was the governor of Let me just take you back. Let me just take you back. Of course. Let me just take you back for a moment. Karen Finney was using an analogy. And what she said was... Poor analogy. Yeah, but, but she was using an analogy. Uh, and she did not suggest that blood was on the Koch brothers' hands. She didn't suggest that the Koch brothers were personally or directly involved in that. She didn't. I'm However, sorry. I repeat... She called us the Typhoid Mary. She didn't she, call us the Virgin Mary. She called us the Typhoid yeah, Mary. Uh, When the law passed in Florida in 2005, it was just the beginning. It's common sense to allow people to defend themselves and to have to, in, in a, when you're in a position where you're um, being threatened, and there's a life-threatening situation, to have to retreat uh, and put yourself in a, in a very precarious position you know, defies common sense. That was then Governor Jeb Bush of Florida. He and his fellow Republicans were ecstatic when the law passed. And as typical, they use fear and rhetoric about personal freedom without balancing Second Amendment rights with the safety of our communities. One Florida state attorney who opposed the law even said that they decided to fix something that wasn't broken. So how do we go from one state to 30? Who was the typhoid Mary for this horrible outbreak? Try not to be surprised. It's the usual suspects. The Koch brothers, the NRA, the American Legislative Exchange Council, and Clinton vets. Remember the Scafie family? Oh, yeah. These are the same people who stymie gun regulation at every point, who funded and ghostwrite these laws and others that have become a core of the conservative agenda that's being implemented across our country. Do the Koch brothers support stand your ground laws? I don't know. I've never talked to them about it. You've never spoken to them about this issue? That's correct. Okay. If they don't, uh, then why have they not taken a step like Coca-Cola, like Wendy's and McDonald's, who have walked away following this terrible and tragic death? Why have they not taken a, an avowed public step to say, well, we haven't disclosed that we support stand your ground laws, but we're making it absolutely clear to America that we want nothing to do with this? Well, have Comcast and GE done that? Uh, that's not the question I'm well, asking. Well, they're your parent. You could ask the same question no, uh, of your but parent you're saying, with Mr. Bashir, the way that 
your network has handled issues with us the way that a lot in the far left media have handled issues with us, attacking us even when there's no basis, like with the Trayvon Martin issues, that so, situation. That has led to death threats against our owners. Charles and David Koch have received phone death threats. They've received sir, email death threats, if, if internet I may, death threats. If, if this I may, is where this leads. It's irresponsible. Yeah, sir, if I may just I mean, are you, you okay with that? It,